anyway, so long not we were discussing about we will start uh, like yes we are to start our lesson number three, but before that we have to finish our lesson number two, and also I need to just revise lesson number one workbook, so let's finish that and come to the uh, note. Okay, what uh, that is uh, the maintenance and the troubleshoot in the computer. That is your fourth tute. So before coming to that, I would like to finish the workbook. So let's take the workbook today. If you don't have the workbook, so please download it. And if you want, you can just get a printout of that. Uh, and if not, you can keep it in the screen and write down in a different writing book. Right, let's uh, move to the workbook quickly. Sir? Yes? Are we able to edit in the uh, same workbook? Is it okay? Uh, yes, the PDF one you can edit. But don't yes. write in the, if, if the book is given in the school, don't write in that book. Only edit okay, the PDF, sir. right? Only edit the PDF. Okay. Thank you. Or write down in a separate book. It's also okay. Right. Uh, this is it. Right. What we were discussing is about in this uh, book, mm, the activity 2.1, 2.2. This way, yes, we, we have done that part also. And uh, yes, uh, we need to know about what are the computer storage devices. And I think we discuss about this, right? Yes, sir. What are the computer storage devices? Then we discussed, right? Three type of storages. Okay, if not, quickly do this. So you're not responding now. Let's do this thing. If not, let's do this. Computer storages. So what are they? 2.2 computer storages are? Yes. Keep why computer storages are used to use to keep data for long time because memory is temporary. So we need a permanent or long time store, long time uh, storage. Then that is the role of your storage device. Okay, so please write down under that storage devices are used to. Keep files, folders, settings, and applications for long time. Storage devices are used to keep files, folders, settings, and applications for long time. The computer's memory or main memory is volatile temporary or volatile or depends on voltage. The memory depends on voltage. But storage devices can keep content even without the power. Even without the power, it can keep the content. That is the advantage of. Okay, what are the things which you can, you can store? So, you know, the pictures, movies, games, applications, documents. You can keep those things in your computer, even the operating systems is a correct answer. Operating systems.
So then uh, it's given magnetic media devices, optical media devices, and solid state devices are the three categories of storage devices. How the categorization is happen? Yes, how this categorization happens? Yes, Pute? Can anyone tell this? How devices are categorized like magnetic, optical, and solid status based on what? Media device based on media devices. No, not media devices based on what? Magnetic, optical, and uh, solid status. How yeah. they store the st uh, data? Storage device. Yeah, all three are storage devices. Yes, I'm asking how the categorization happened based on what factor? Based on how they uh, store the data. It's based on how they store data, basically the technology, right? Simple word. Yes, based on the technology. That is simple. Based on the technology, how the categorization happened, based on the technology. Magnetic devices are using magnetism. Optical devices are using optics or the light. The solid state devices, it's non-moving using electronics. So that is how the storage happens. Did we uh, watch a video or animation regarding this uh, magnetic storage for the last day? Yes, sir. Right, okay, good. But, uh, we did, we learned how hard disk is working, right? Using this magnetism. And also yes. I said how CDs are working using optical. Yes, sir. Technology. Yes, yes optical. sir. Optical laser bulb, how the CD or DVD is working, we learned that as well. Okay. So I heard that now there is a method to store data on bacteria. Yes, that is called biological storage. How? Biological, they are using genes. Genes of the bacteria. You know, genes are storage. No? Genes can store terabytes of data. Right, genes, genes can jhana. Genes can store, genes can store terabytes of the. That's how uh, we are programmed. Our mothers and fathers' genes come to us, and that defines the outer look, behavior, thinking pattern, DNA of the child, the mother's DNA and father's DNA together. So it stores data, and that data comes to the child. And child's behavior, child's out appearance will be decided based on that DNA. Actually, DNA is a storage thing. It can store data and send to the next generation. So biologists and computer scientists are trying to store things in DNA. Now because it is less, it takes relatively less space and you can store more data. And also it is possible to biologically transfer this data. That is why they are thinking of storing things in DNA for bacteria genes. Right? That is so under research. So still they are trying and some are successful, but still not introduced to the computers. Computer get a bacteria found again. But in research, sir, I saw that in a newspaper, sir. Yeah. Okay, then. So consider the following storage devices. Then now you have to divide them into the categories. Okay, hard disk. Is it magnetic, optical, or what? Hard disk. Magnetic. 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 External hard disk. Uh, magnetic. Magnetic. Magnetic tape. Magnetic. Yes, magnetic tape. Magnetic. There is also magnetic. Magnetic. Magnetic tape is magnetic. Then what about CD? DVD? Optical. Uh, opticals? Blu-ray. Optical media. Opticals. Blu-ray is optical. Optical. Sip disc. Sip disc. Uh, mag uh, magnetic. It's magnetic. Yeah. Right? Basically magnetic. Sip disc, floppy disk, and jazz disk came from magnetics. And pen drive memory cards. Solid state. Solid state. Solid. 
దోస్తా నోట్ హెవింగ్ ఎనీ మూవింగ్ పార్ట్స్ ఏవో పొడిని బలం కూడా చూటి మూవ్ అయినా కూడా స్నాక్ సో ది దే ఆర్ కో దిస్ కాల్ సాలిడ్ స్టేటస్ ఓకే యు కెన్ రైట్ డౌన్ దిస్ హార్డ్ డిస్ ఫ్లోపి డిస్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ హార్డ్ డిస్ మెగ్నెటిక్ పే గ్యాస్ జిప్ ఆల్ ఆర్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ దెన్ కంపాక్ట్ డిస్క్ డిజిటల్ వర్సటైల్ డిస్క్ మీన్స్ డివిడి రైట్ డిజిటల్ వర్సటైల్ డిస్క్ మీన్స్ డివిడి బ్లూ రే and remember blue ray is not b l u e blue right not blue color ray b l u r a y right blue ray the correct spell is b l u r a y samara tangala tiyena b l u e blue ray kela e nilpada blue nevey this is blue ray and pen drive memory card and also you have some more ssd hard disk ssd hard disk also come in under ssd finish right it wait yes sir okay do it quickly okay now we know the uh, storage mechanisms what are the storage devices storage mechanism and there are biological storage as you said so there are biological storages which store in uh, which try to store the things in genes of cells maybe bacteria right those are upcoming right in future maybe and in future so no need to remember things and exam ekata yaddi what do you have to do you have to get infected with the bacteria right and go to the examination because bacteria can remember everything so you can get the help of bacteria do write the exam right so that will be the future then it's very difficult to check ne maybe you have to do a pcr like test to identify whether you are cheat in the examination to find out the bacteria with you okay done yes yes sir thank you yes sir uh list files and folders separate in the computer screen uh, show in the diagram <coughs> so list files and folders separately in the computer screen show in in the following folders school image school image uh, agenda scanned no, no. documents science the video uh, science budget the video images budget office budget school the image scanned documents science the video okay i i'll put right science i'll put hard to the folder right these are folders files let's put uh, agenda okay let's see agenda classroom. sheet 1 classroom classroom sheet 1 sheet 1 but this method is very primitive right very primitive means like this can be true or this can be false even why we can change the uh, we can change the icon of the icon icon of the folder yes we can change the icon of the folder and also we can change the icon of the file they can be nascarable icon of the folder can be changed and icon of the file can also be changed therefore since icon of the folder can be changed and since icon of the file can be changed then what due to that reason Right, due to that reason so we can't trust these as folders and files but out appearance says the hearts are folders and the right signs are files that is from the out appearance but that is not perfectly uh, that is not a perfect answer let's see how we can change this now okay can you share the screen i'll show you why i'm telling like that okay um, yes just um. minimize can you create a folder puti just create a folder right click new folder right click in the desktop new folder and you all know this is a folder right so he marked at where on and that is a folder where on can you give excel icon to this folder yeah yes how show it Right. properties change icon properties icons and uh, then go to the open yeah, go to properties then 
ஒரு <laughs> right click open the file location again right click on the shortcut and open the file location okay then now copy the path copy the path no 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 you don't have such thing just scroll right click on the address bar that will allow you to copy the path i copied the path sir yeah oh. i either copy the path right click and copy here come on okay uh, it's not cool one right click on this then uh, copy the path that is also okay okay now go to the properties go to the properties not not properties of this properties of your fold and go to the customize change icon and go to the browse go to browse and now paste the path okay now select any icon that you like click okay and you can see it looks like excel now it looks like a file but it is not actually a file it's a folder how can we trust them ஒனக்கேன்ல <laughs> word file like akko ge pen then what will happen if it looks like a word file if it looks like excel file then so it's not true right it's not correct okay shall we try for uh, try in some other computer also tawa ka ge try karam computer ek who's going to share okay ah rona yes others can try it maybe others can also try oh you can okay I, i'll tell you another way you can download the icon also to download icon this uh, website is suitable i just found this in the previous icon icon still on this icon dot ha huh? what is that icon icon uh, uh, icon 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 dot icon icons i think yeah. that is better icon icons that's a good that's a zoom in icon icons icon. this has in yeah. nice icons right If you want to find a red cross, we post like this Valentine, and you can find a bossy. Okay. These icons you can download, right? You can just click on this. Then what? Close the advertisement. Then you can download this ICO file, right? Remember, download ICO. The second one, ICO. that you have to download if it is not starting you can click here and it will be downloaded here it's that's it then uh, what i can do is i can send that uh, icon to you so you can also download iconicons.com go to that website and try to download udamsa you can get the note uh, of which lesson put it so february not february not simply you can if you want february not you can send me a message whatsapp message if you are not received then i'll send it send the whatsapp message along with your sleep then i'll send i last i'll not i'll i'll ask uh, miss lakmani to send it or you can directly send uh, the sleep to miss lakmani that's also okay i'll ask me sir yes i send the icon how many of you have applied Dulnita 
Have you applied that icon? That I was starting the screen share, you know. Why? Because you are late. Okay, I was screen sharing already. Okay, can you change the icon? Yeah. Can you change the icon of a folder? Just create a new folder. And you can give this nice icon to that. A past lessons, you can again send me the request, then I can send you. Same thing. Browse, browse it. Go to browse. Then select the desktop. In the desktop, you can then select this rose icon. Then OK. Click OK and you can see that nice icon in your folder. So likewise, you can you can do anything, right? You can see it's nice. Likewise, you can give any icon to any any of these icons, giving any of these icons possible. Okay. So anyone wish to try again? Ronald, you have done. Hey, can I? Have you done that? Okay. Let's see here. These live web wallpapers will slow down you, right? Click on the, yeah, click on this click here button to down. I had noticed the the uh, you just like going to okay just click on click here yeah you can just get that folder icon and you can okay likewise you can assign nice icon to your computer your folders files everywhere so that is possible right what icon so anyone need help change it i hope everyone can do this one simple go to the properties and you can change it Customize. So, how to download icon pack? Icon packs are also there in the internet. Um, so, if you Google it, you will find a lot of resources. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, can we convert images into icons? Yes, possible. You can put your sir, icon if you want. There are uh, there are icon converters JPG to yeah. JPG to ICO converters. JB, JPG to ICO converters. That is there in Google again. Just Google Sir, it. do we need to download and uh, the download a software to do that? No, no, you can do it online. Okay, sir. Okay. Right. You have nice icons. You can just go through and download and share that. That is up to you now. So it's very easy. Right, let's go to the lesson. That's why I say, so identifying this by icons is not very good thing, but still you can use it in the primary level. But uh, when it comes to the advanced, you need to understand that any icon can be manipulated or changed. Folder can look like a file, file can look like a folder. Okay, activity 2.4, consider the following files and write under the suitable folder to store. Okay, you have to write a suitable folder to store this. Uh, okay. The term test, where are you going to store? Term test folder, term test marks, right? The first one. So let's write down. Term test folder, get the another one, term test. Anything can be stored anywhere, but to organize them well, I think uh, you have to put into the correct folder, right? So songs, what you're going to put into the songs? Songs? National anthem. National anthem. Okay, uh, what about the drama video? What you're going to put into that? Drama video. Video of the school drama which participated in all yeah. island drama. Hmm. Then uh, MS Word. I 
agenda yes the agenda sport. of the sport meet okay that's it yes with that we are done with the workbook and uh, let's go to the workbook part 1 quickly the lesson number 1 so this part actually you don't need to write with me but try your level best to write this if you miss it so try to watch the recording and get it done right so let's go to the first part because i couldn't put this uh, yeah first part i need to revise because some new comments are there okay what is mean by cpu easy question central processing unit central processing unit Yes, central processing unit in human body, which is uh, similar to the brain. The brain. The brain. Of, uh, it's similar to brain of a person, computer. right? Brain of the yes, brain of a person. Basically, the brain of the computer is the CPU. So, what is central processing unit? So, what is it? It is a yes. It is a electronic circuit yes it is a electronic circuit and you can tell that a microchip so which can take inputs and instructions then manipulate and instructions then manipulate those data according to the instructions given and produce meaningful information so what it does it can take input and also so according to the instructions according to the instruction it can manipulate data and produce information so that is the task of cpu and then ask in in 1.2 1.2 name the main parts of the cpu yes so what are they what are the components inside cpu just put it alu yes. cu yes the first one is alu internal buses alu correct alu means arithmetic registers and logical logical unit unit operating system no it's wrong operating system hmm. is not a part of cpu registers yes registers correct control unit logical unit what it does cpu yes what what is the role of arithmetic and logical unit mona the kara ne arithmetic and logical function are arithmetic and logical unit yes. the function the unit mathematical functions such as what such as addition division subtraction multiplication multiplication and logical functions symbols its logical functions such as comparisons so you can compare whether less than uh, less than no oh, sorry uh, less than greater than equal to not equal to these are logical functions mathematical functions such as addition division subtraction multiplication logical functions such as comparisons are performed by alu that is the role of 
ALU. It performs mathematical and logical functions. Okay, you can write down. If you don't know, you can write down. If you know, it's okay. Okay, what is the next part you said? Control unit. Control unit. What is the role of control unit? Yes, role of control unit. Control the data. Huh? CU. CU means control unit. CU can control unit. Control unit again. Because the control unit is like traffic policy. So what it does then? It controls, it sends control signals. Signals to each and every component in the computer. It sends control signals to each and every component in the computer system. It only triggers the control, but not controlling the part. It only triggers, 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 yeah, control current. It's like traffic police, right? Traffic police is not driving in the. Uh, so, have you seen traffic police is driving in a junction? No. Driving no signaling. He's only signaling. No, right? sir. Signals no, dinner with the driver current. I thought me at the himatama. Signal dinner with the right. It also understand instructions, right? Another thing, it also understand. Instructions to the processor. Then the last thing or the third thing, not last actually, third thing is memory unit. Memory registers. Yes, memory unit. Memory registers, everything comes under that. Memory registers. And cache memory, cache memory comes under the memory unit. It stores data and instructions inside the processor. Processor can to any instructions the other and the other one for the key. And you have more things, but these three are enough. So you have internal buses, right? Those are also parts of CPU, but so this is enough. Now in the memory unit, control unit and ALU. Okay, I hope you are finished, right? Okay, next is consider the following sentences and put a tick. Correct to the correct one and to the wrong one. You are asked to put the correct and wrong sign here. Serious. And correct sign. So please read carefully and tell me whether it's correct or wrong. I need a wrong sign, but correct sign. Use this.
Okay. Central processing unit holds all the information that is currently using in the memory registers. Central processing unit holds all the information that is currently using the using in memory registers. Is it correct? Uh, it is a bit confusing statement. Central processing unit because it uh, like the coherence has a problem. Central processing unit holds all the information that is no. currently using memory registers. Wrong. Wrong. Uh, Other than that, uh, the central processing unit. So you can tell like this, but the central processing unit uh, holds information using its registers. That is correct, right? Central processing unit holds its information using registers. But the way that it has seen, central processing unit holds all the information. It is currently using memory registers. So I'll put this correct sign, but I'll write something here also in addition. CPU holds uh, instruction information using its registers, right? So considering this idea, I'm putting this correct. But the way that they have informed has a problem. Considering this statement, that's why I wrote it in the below. Operating system is the main part of CPU. No. No. OS is not a part. No. OS is like a CPU is a part. Central processing unit is running uh, on the background when uh, whenever any task is performed by the computer. Correct. Correct. CPU is the background. It's like our brain. No, our brain is always running. No, when we are doing ta task, so CPU is also CPU is also running, right? CPU is also running in the background. Okay. Clock speed is measured in hertz. Correct. Yeah, it's generating some noise. Ne? You get it's okay. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, CPU speed is measured in hertz. Correct. Okay. Sorry. Correct. Yeah, it's correct. correct. Control unit is part of central processing unit. Correct. Correct. Central processing unit is a digital circuit. Correct. 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 Central unit performs arithmetic operations. Uh, wrong. 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 Not doing arithmetic operations. Central processing unit is located on the computer motherboard. Correct. Correct. So basically, CPU socket is in the motherboard, right? So that's what I'm the meaning of this is that, right? Again, I'm writing CPU socket is in the motherboard, in the motherboard, and and CPU can be connected to that cpu can be connected to that so you my this video yes sir Okay, activity 1.3. Complete the following table related to the evolution of central processing unit. Right, okay. So I have already completed, but let's explain. The first generation used vacuum tube, the second generation used transistors. The third generation, it is 
integrated circuits or IC. We call that integrated circuits. The fourth generation it is LSI. microprocessors or another name is LSI VLSI. LSI means large scale integration. VLSI means very large scale integration. LSI means large scale integration. VLSI means very large scale integration. And the first generation, it was very high electronic consumption, electricity consumption. And then uh, the second generation was high and the third generation was average, right? But when it comes to the fourth generation, it is very low or low. On the other hand here, the speed measured in microseconds. This we have studied, right? Microseconds and, sorry, milliseconds. When it comes to here, it is microseconds. Nanoseconds. And microseconds. Okay, the last one. I hope the last one is it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the name technology used in the following devices. Here, actually, basically, all three devices are using microprocessors. No doubt about that, all are using microprocessors. But the first one we can say it is ULSI. What is ULSI? Ultra large. Scale integration, ultra large scale integration. So ultra yeah. large scale integration. Here also in uh, this laptop, also we can call the ULS size used, right? Not just microprocessors, microprocessors and ULSI both. But uh, this desktop, all desktop, this is uh, Windows, you can see very old operating system, it's only microprocessors. Okay. So now with that, the particular part is over and we have discussed the first two chapters with this. Right, it is easy. Now, I think uh, my plan is to give the first term examination in March, actually, uh, in March, since we have finished the first two chapters and we are into the third chapter, we need to give the term examination too. So please prepare your Edmodoo accounts. So don't tell that your Edmodoo account is now? again, not now. So why not now? <laughs> so in March, right? In March, I'll be giving that. Oh, okay. So please ready for that. Since we have uh, extra amount of time, I'm thinking of uh, showing something additional today that is basically related to the troubleshooting. So let's learn about uh, your computer a little more. So using two kind of tools, which is needed for troubleshooting again. So tool number one is CPU is it? I hope some of you have downloaded this. If not, Let's download the tool is CPU oh, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. CPU is it. That's it. If you don't have, please download. Then it's very, it's kind of required tool for troubleshooting and also to know about your CPU. You can learn more about your computer using this tool. It's a free tool, right? It's a free tool. And the next tool that you need to download is this. My Sorry, security task manager. You didn't you didn't type the my no no not my one. security oh. task manager. Please download that. So it's not working for the Windows 11? I'm not sure. I have not tested. You can try. 
So security trust manager, it's really essential tool because when you have viruses and all, you can get about get to know about it using this. It's a utility software. It's a utility software which is used to know about your computer. Please download both software, right? Security Task Manager, it has a trial version, so you can download that. Okay. Those who need help can share the screen. I'll teach you how to download. If you don't know, please share the screen, then I'll tell you how to download. Dulnita, you know how to do it already, but anyway. So those who need help, I would like if uh, the chance is given to the students who need help, right? Okay, please go to Google put a first edge or something. Google Chrome, any any browser. Then search CPU is it? CPU is it? Yeah, I think uh, she downloaded. I see the icon. I stop. So the icon. I it's already downloaded, right? Okay. Then try for the other one, security task manager. Security task manager. Okay. Then go to the download link, the first one. Then click on uh, downloads. Download in the right side. You can see download in the right side. Here, here. Yeah. Then download now. Keep, keep the file. Okay, click on the file to install it. Okay, next, next, next. Finish. All next and finished and install. Yeah, it's finished and it's done. Now it will be open. It's a trial version. No need to purchase that you continue. can continue. Continue, yeah, and just continue. And it shows the programs in your computer and the potential threats or potential issues so it will take some time so let, let it run it's calculating i think okay you can see here uh, 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 a lot of unknown programs oh i think you have a virus yeah so many yes uh, and let's, uh, yes, I think you have a virus. So welcome to the virus world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. You all have that. You are sending different, different links time to time. Ne? Discord, I right? Okay. So just expand this today. Just expand the file and title. You can file like a expand the file title. Not this today. I meant the regular drag, drag it. Just click on the middle and drag. Click and drag to the right side. When the double head of uh, then now click and drag. Okay. No, no, it's not dragging. So uh, give me the control, then I'll, I'll. It's easy, right? Uh, click and drag it. Now click and drag it. Click and drag. Okay, it's lucky to me. Can do like this. It's very simple. Hmm. Okay. So what is this TOC? TOK, what is that? Update a ROM in TOC. Is, have you installed kind of software or do you know about this software, Puti? Bimansa? Do you know about this software? I'm I'm going to view the folder. I have not this set. If this is the software that you can see, it is kind of suspicious. You can check this with virus total now. 
virus total there's a lot for me hmm? there's a lot file for me okay you can check with the virus total website and upload the file so let's copy the path let's copy the path first and, oh sorry or you can just click and drag the file to this okay here it is a bad guy <laughs> and you can see uh -huh. it says it's a malware a virus uh -huh. i don't know how it came to your computer but anyway it's infected with the virus now what can you mind do because i have one uh, one do Oh no! After doing uh, yeah, uh, after what, what you have to do, you can discover. You you can self discover if if the file is suspicious. How to discover that? Go to the security task manager, right? So when you go to the security task manager, you can see the programs running on your computer. So if you think the let's say this is a here IBT, I'm not sure this one another file. Zoom is, you know, Zoom is not suspicious. No, Zoom is doing using much process, but it is you can trust it because you have installed that. Dremel is okay. Then you have Kaspersky password manager, but it's not helping you. Your Kaspersky anti malware is also there, but it's not helping you. Mm, and Discord update is okay. So here actually the most suspicious one is the first file that you are seeing. Other things are okay. Other things are manageable. It's not that much. Risk. That one is on my my laptop too, sir. Which one? The uh, the highest one is the Intel Rapid DX. Ah, then you can check it. Check with the uh, check with the virus total. Virus total will tell the story. Right, this has this is a trojan. I don't know how you have installed that, but you can disable it. How? Right click, then. Yes, you can do the virus scan, but that is not necessary. You can just remove it. So let's try to remove this, and when you remove this, you can just uh... ah, this is from a game. It came from a game. New game based cooperation. Let's quarantine that. So you have the quarantine option, right? Mm -hmm. If the virus is there, you have the quarantine option. You can just quarantine it. Okay, it's access there. It's denied access and it's running in the top priority. I think you have to quarantine the first one, this one first. Don't know which has created the fire priority let's uh, do this. okay i don't know what, what is happening with my laptop because uh, my laptop has a crazy uh, uh like an uh you know then you mean you are crazy no 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 <laughs> then what okay let's uh, stop the process for the moment i just want to no it's not even letting us it's, it's uh denied it yes denied it so then, uh, so if it is came from a game, think about un uninstalling. I'm not sure how it came to your computer. Let's try to un uninstall this. That is also denied. Yes, yeah, sir. I think. No, it's allowed. Allowed to uninstall. Sir, can I share screen? Yeah, yeah, sure. So this is now you can see. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's not easy, it's not uh, easy. So easy as you think, maybe it will come back. Right? It will come back because this has multiple processors. This might slow down your computer too. So we can try these options. 
another one is there but i'm not sure so let's refresh reload the system and see let's try to see the discover the file check uh, okay view this folder now now it seems the folder is also removed so fortunately that is not there it seems mm, let's see these are the system processes I don't know what is Intel I don't know. Sorry. Uh, in the I don't know what is Intel I uh, that file is on this PC or check with virus total. Check it with virus total. That's what you have to do. Okay, you can see now uh, the that is better than the earlier status, but still there is a IB T this this file. I'm not sure what this file is, but you can again search similar way. Go home the file like search karan. Right click on the file. And then you can go to the view of this folder. And after that, so when you see the folder, uh, 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 file is not visible here. Okay, uh, I have one uh, 69, uh, 50, uh, 51 has 69 right mm. now on that one. The rating comes, rating is you can't trust based on the rating. But you can find the suspicious files and scan them. That is the only thing you can do here. The maker DNA okoma inkara nepar, then your computer will definitely stop. So because you are going to stop Google Chrome, uh, updates, viruses, antiviruses, Zoom, everything. Right? Therefore, be careful, don't remove everything, but just check the files. If you have any suspicious thing, you can check the files. So that is the only thing that you can do. Grammar is also suspicious, uh, here suspicious, but grammar is not a virus. You know, it's a tool which is used to check grammars and all, grammar and spelling. Uh, but uh, if you feel that it has a virus file, you can scan and see. And here it's it's clean, right? You can say it's clean. It's not a problem. Right? That's why I say don't remove all the files that it says. Just check the file with virus total. And if virus total also saying that there's a virus, then you have to be careful. Right? So we learn actually one part, practical part of your lesson. What is that? Removing unwanted programs. Okay, anyone, anyone uh, got similar thing? Anyone got similar issue? Don't you? What? So what about you? Danuri, yes. Okay, why my screen is not sharing right now? Because you have a virus. <laughs> download. <laughs> yes, then download now. Yeah, save it and open. It's still downloading. Wait, wait, still downloading. Let it download and after that, double click on the file to run it. So, what is the, uh, that uh, that uh, search in the virus? Virus total dot com. Okay. It's a okay, still downloading. Is it? Is it slow? Mm -hmm. So I I uh, I have one suspicious file on my laptop. So can you stop and restart again? I have I think there's something I can start again. Redownload again to the another download. Maybe try another download. Oh, maybe and there's an uh, like an uh, browser issue. Mm -hmm. Seems. Click on the download again, and you can see. Yeah, you can restart. The restart button. Restart button. Okay. Uh, where's the file now? Okay, click on that. 
I think you have to use some other browser. I don't like Opera actually. Don't know the reason. I just will. I just will. Yeah, close it. Oh, yeah, you can say that Chrome. Chrome. Yeah. Chrome or Firefox is better, right? Chrome is most popular. Hmm. Open it today. So I think, uh, yes, double. It's loading. Yeah. Just search for security task manager again. Security task manager. Security task manager. So what is that? Security. No, S E S E C U R Y. T Y. Right, that's a that's second one. Second one, you have to select the second one. It came. Okay. The second one, second one. Second one, yeah. Click on the yes, click on the icon and then click on the first link. First link, yeah. Then the download icon. Then download. Okay, it came. Yes, it's coming. Yeah, there's a browser issue, the previous one. Just click it on the, yeah. I think uh, you can do this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, next, next. And yeah, finish, oh, finish. finish and install again. Now continue. Uh, continue. Okay, let's see the results. Danuri, if you're lucky, no viruses. <laughs> so it's 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 generating this. So this is this is only showing suspicious files, right? This is not showing any viruses. This is. I have a problem. Yes, what is that? Uh, so can I share the screen? Uh, who's this? We do. Okay, we do. Uh, I'll back to your screen, right? Uh, Abhi, no, I think let's give Vidun a chance, right? Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. I didn't just use the uh, different. Uh, they are saying Intel Abbey DLC is dangerous. Hmm. So and it's on Casper. Yeah, it's load in uh, still not. It's load in, in the process not sure maybe connection error or connection issue Let's take more some more time right okay uh no still not we don't what's the issue can you tell me the issue uh here has a dc i service dot exe like that uh, but i don't know what is that yeah there are unknown services that is not a problem okay, have you scanned the file with virus store so that's what you have to do no sir yes that's i think uh, that task you can do with it excuse me sir yes sir, danuri can you share again danuri sir how to scan a file with virus daughter you uh, yes i'll show it now danuri can you share okay sir. thank you sir. danuri are you here mm -mm -mm. i think she's not uh, here okay. no he, she's here yeah she's here but uh... not responding danuri can you share the screen right okay i think uh, right Anyway, can so, I share my screen for a little bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah. How to scan for viruses? So see here quickly. Yeah, somebody can share the screen. Anyone? No one can. I did. I did. Not seen that. I am uh, screen sharing right now. I think something wrong. Okay, so let's share my screen now, try. Hmm. Oh, uh, done is sick. Okay, no, I'm sick. Okay, uh, done. We go to the task manager. No, no, no. You have already downloaded. So what you are doing with that? 
you have already downloaded it. Just go and see the stream, minimize it. So where's the installed one? Yeah, just click on that. You have you closed that? The close karan ne pao, they open karan na ikin tama bala agar na diye. Just security task manager, double click and open that. Continue. And you need to wait until it loads all the tasks. Don't close it. And now you can see the rank in everything uh, here. And yes, I, it seems uh, no big issue, it seems. So still ranking the risks, right? He said and real talk, that is okay. I think uh, seems okay. Most of the things are okay. Zoom, uh, BitTorrent is anyway risky, you know, that is uh, listing there. Zoom meetings, that part is okay. How to check? If you want to check a file, just move down, put the pal at the Okay, let's say you want to check this uTorrent file, the helper file. You can right click on the file. Right click on a file, okay? Just right click on this file. It's like this, you can right click. After that, view this folder. View this folder. So then you can see the exe file. That exe file you can drag and drop to the virustotal.com website. So that is how simple that you can scan. Right click on the file, then view this folder. Then we, when you view this folder, and when you view the file, just drag and drop the file to. Or you can just go to the properties and see. And anyway, the location is also there. Right? File location is also there that you can browse manually even. File like a theater than a pen on here. App data roam in helper.exe. You can just open the file. And after opening the file, you can drag and drop that to the virus total website. So that is how you scan. Okay, one last thing before we finish. I just want to tell you something, but I couldn't tell you. So let's show this quickly. Uh, I have sent you an email and there is, this is it. So let me show the sent mails. So this is from Jits. Uh, I hope you got this email. Yes, sir. Right, so I just want to tell you about yes, these courses. Except the last course, you can select other courses if you want to do. Ethical hacking because you need the age limit. Age limit should be 16 or above. So you can't select that. So other than that, the other things you can select. IoT, robotics and innovation will be doing that. Not just Arduino, Arduino, Raspberry Pi and innovation part also there. Then photography and multimedia, you know, I'm into photography. Therefore, I'm doing this course for multimedia production and photography. Uh, so that is also online course. These two programs, you already know. Some of you are doing this coding and if you need hardware and networking there is a course this is not done by me but anyway there's a lecturer doing this hardware networking part and also the mobile phone repairing and laptop repairing part so those are three six month courses so you can try this also and there is a separate lecturer for 3d animation and graphic designing so we have those courses also so if you are interested please tell me because before 28 we have to uh, start the classes after 28 we'll be starting classes the registrations we need to complete before 28 and for western music audio production and engineering we have a music director who you know the chalo drama he's the director for chalo drama and uh, he's doing music there so he's the one who's going to do this course with western music and audio engineering audio production so mostly the q basic reason and all tools related to audio engineering okay that is it so if you want to select a course let me know then we can discuss and then uh, i'll give you more details about the classes and installments all these things just wanted to tell that okay okay i'll stop from here today then good night see you all next week good night sir thank you sir thank goodbye. you sir